Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today we're out at the World of Wheels in Milwaukee. Come on out, you'll see some great cars. I saw Al Siegel. Al, good to see you. How are you doing? Al and I actually saw each other about five years ago and the timing is right now. So enjoy this one. I like them when they look stock right from the factory. Al, what did you bring today? I brought a 1971 uh, Ford Mustang, the big girl era of the car. The Mach 1. So with the Mach 1, and uh, this one, uh, you've done some work to it. Yes. How long have you had this one? 15 years. And step right alongside me. Come right here for a second. Talk to that microphone. Now, how did this one come to play? Because you originally uh, kind of grew up with some Mustangs, I understand. Well, when the wife and I were dating, uh, we had a 68 Mustang. Okay. We turned around and uh, we were looking for a car with a car with a five. So we went off to Waukesha. I got lost, and as I was making a U-turn, the wife seen this one on the guy's phone. It didn't look like this, but it had, the bones are all there, so we picked her up and... The wife history. gave you the approval. Yes. I love this girl. <laughs> That's that is first. awesome. Look at this. So it has the argent hood, the argent, color there. Yeah, argent gray, it's like a midnight green. It's not the gravity. But you know what? I, I'm kind of a blue car. This, this, come on with me. This car screams Ford blue. So it really looks good. And we'll give it the profile look. And I'll take a moment to let people soak that body style in. That's beautiful. So, you know, this style kind of, I, I've said this before, cars look better with age. And I mean, after you had the 60s Mustang, which are so iconic to look, you know, this one kind of seemed like it took a little bit of a step back. But as you keep watching this, and because you don't see them that often, it catches your attention, doesn't it? So what's the reaction when you're driving this car, you and the wife? Well, you get people waving and giving you a thumbs up, and it's a good feeling. <laughs> it's, uh, Brings back to my youth. You're right. I'm 68 now. It's good. It's good. It brings this brings me back to my youth. And the, and the cars make us feel young. And I know that you had your you got the chin spoiler on there. I saw your uh, nephew cleaning this up for us. Yep. So I want to give him a shout out. He's done a great job. Let's take a look at this unique tail of this one. And the almost not, can you actually see out that rear window or is it uh, non functional? Yeah, you gotta be good at it. It took me a couple of years to get to the back and up and use the side here mostly. Now that's not the stock uh, cap, that's that's aftermarket? Yep. That's okay. Aftermarket. She's not true stock. She's but it's pretty close. She's got some different dime stuff here. Yeah, let's open up the trunk, shall we? We've got a few treats in there for, for everybody. the Ford toolbox and let me just pull these up. first of all let me show the trunk what's that I'm just curious that is a reverb okay is it like another tight? thing that was just didn't come okay like look, look how short the kind of the short the deck lid is let me just show that from the side for a second a very short little trunk deck lid I'm surprised though you can get some stuff in there oh yeah we okay. we drove it up the Sturgeon Bay this year and let's take a look at our Mustang photos. Those were given to me by a friend uh, who is now deceased. He had a 71 a Burgundy, which is beautiful. Henry was a nice man, died way too soon. What a nice way to remember him with this magazine. There's the Mach 1 that we're talking about. Actually, he's got a uh, no hood pins on that one. Check out the Mustang Mach 1 Fantastico. See, I had hair like that back in the It's so much fun when you get to see the time period correct brochure like this. So we'll take our time. Somebody's going to fire up something, it appears.
Ande. Details on the Boss 351. Different rims, your sports deck, they call it. I don't remember a 429 option in 71. Yeah, I'm not real familiar with that at all. But there's the brochure. Yeah. And when you get the treat like this, you take your time with it. The safety features. There's the models. Mustang specifications. And there's there's no 429 option there I see in the engine specs. And there's a 429 listed there. Interesting. We got one more magazine. The spirited Torino's, Mustangs, Mavericks, Pintos, Fords for 71. As you can see. So, here's our Mustang. We start with the Torino. Hopefully that's slow enough where you can see that. Towards for a more sporting life. Turning out convertible. Let's get with the little Cobra. Mustang. There we go. And the trunk treats are always a favorite. The LTD. Pinto. <laughs> Carefree car. A little stripe. The grabber, which is back in the day. The boss. More info on the Mustang at that time period.
and back to where we were. Back to the car. So we'll put these right back in the trunk, the treats. Thank you, Al. Let's take a look at our interior, shall we? Thank you. Right to our door there. Can you show our buckets? What do you think did the interior? Okay, we'll take a look at the interior. Always appreciated the separation. Passenger over there. And driver, well, right here. Restored, altered. Restored, restored. Like that. Nice how they put the toggles down there so you're just focused on this. Now let's take a look under the hood, shall we? Mike, how do you get guys to polish the car? Where's it going? Get that right there. Put ways up there. Well, that's quite the presentation on the hood there. I'm seeing some of the okay. venting there. Go back and fight again. Yeah. What's the percentage doing? You should get a hundred. It's clean under here, Al. There's a lot of work to it. I took all this stuff off because I didn't have the stuff to pull the motor. So I just took piece by piece, cleaned it, painted it. Really looks good. Let's uh, let's fire it, shall we? We'll let it. Uh, we'll give it an idle. We'll step yeah. on the brakes. We'll see those tail lights. That sounds good. Thanks. Al, Al, so much fun to see you. Bring, bring your nephew on over here Eric. too. The guy who's doing all the work uh, polishing the car. Good, good to see you guys. First of all, great job working on the car. Thank you. Thank you. This car is looking great, and uh, good to see you this time, Al. Thanks for sharing your car on the channel. We'll see what people think. All right. Thank you.